Hi everyone, this is Ms. Abitu, and today we're going to be solving the perimeter by finding the missing lengths and missing width. Here I have a rectangle where the length or how long the shape is, is 6, and the width is 3, which tells us how wide it is. So with shapes, if the length on a rectangle is 6 on one side, that means it is 6 on the other side. And with the width, if the width is 3 on one side, that means the width on the other side is also 3. So if I want to find the perimeter of this shape, I need to know all the sides because like earlier in our videos, we practice perimeter and we know the perimeter is the distance around a shape. So we need to add up all the sides up of a shape to find the perimeter. Now that I found all the sides, I am ready to add up all the sides and find the total. So I have 3 plus 6 plus 3 plus 6. And I can group my numbers together to make it easier for myself. So 3 plus 6 is 9 plus 3 plus 6 was, which is 9. Now I have 9 plus 9 which equals 18. So the perimeter of this shape is 18. Let's do one more before we go on to our practice. Okay, so here I have a rectangle with a width of 2 and a length of 7. So to find the perimeter, I need to add up all my sides. So since they didn't tell me the length of or the width of this side, I can see that it's 2 here, which means it's also 2 here. And here I see that I don't have this length, but since the length here is the exact same as the one down here, I know it's also 7. Now that I have labeled all my sides, my widths and lengths, I am ready to add it all up together to find the perimeter. So 2 plus 7 plus 2 plus 7. Let me go ahead and group my numbers together. So 2 plus 7 is 9 plus 2 plus 7, which is 9. And again, look at that. It's 9 plus 9, which gives me 18. The perimeter of this shape is 18. Now let's go on to our practice. Let's make sure we have a paper and pencil so that we are able to write down and solve the problems. Here it says, name the perimeter of the rectangle. You can see here it has a width of two inches and a length of five inches. Go ahead and pause the video to give yourself time to solve this problem. And once you're ready to check your answer, press play. All right. So since it's two inches here, I see it's the same exact length here. So I know this is two inches. I'm going to put an I N for short. And then I need to find this missing side. If I see here, the length is five inches and it's the same length here, so this must be also 5 inches. Now that I labeled all my sides, I am ready to add them up so I can find the perimeter. So I have 2 plus 5 plus 2 plus 5. Sorry. So I can group them up together to help me add all the numbers. So 2 plus 5 is 7 plus 7 
which gives me 14. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 14 inches. Let's go into our last problem. Here it says, name the perimeter of the rectangle. Instead of numbers, they give us paper clips. So I see here this side is two paper clips, and then on this side or the length is four paper clips. Go ahead and pause the video to help you solve, to give yourself time to solve this problem. Once you're ready to check your answer, press play. Okay, so here it has two paper clips, and this is the exact same length as over here on this side. So I know here it is also going to be two paper clips. Just because of my drawing skills, I'm just going to write the number two. So here I need to find this missing side or the length. And I see here's one, two, three, four, and this is the exact same size, so this also is four. Now that I labeled all my sides, I am ready to add them up and name the perimeter. So I have two plus four plus two plus four. Now I am ready to add. Let me group my numbers to help me. So 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 2 plus 4, which is 6. So 6 plus 6 equals 12. So the answer here is 12. Great job, everyone.